TD pattern uh, to the upside, going to take us probably around $73 a barrel. But we'll let Mike Moore get into that. Uh, because he really understands the energy complex better than anyone that uh, uh, I have met in the, all my years of doing this. So he's really given us some good information. He knows about the crack spreads and which ones to watch, the heating oil versus the you know, the, uh, the crude oil versus the uh, gasoline. And what I don't understand is here, gasoline, you know, goes up 40 cents uh, on, the, on the commodity market and it drops 40 cents in Tucson, which is really uh, an amazing thing from, from my perspective. I said, how, how can that possibly happen? Now, because you've been so nice today, we're going to take a little trip. We're going to go over to Germany and we're going to look at the German DAX. So we get this up here. And take a quick look at it, and uh, then we'll go up here. And when we finish this, I'll give you an interesting, uh, a uh, interesting um, human interest story. You can see we're up against some really big ABCD double tops up here in the NAS, uh, the, the the German DAX. Now this is totally different than we're looking at in the Dow Jones and the S and P, and all the other things that we're watching. This is a different diff different animal. So what we're seeing now is the fact that this has a possibility of making some type of a, of a top in here. Whether it's a, a major top or not, I don't know. All I know is if you get above that line right up here, you're wrong. And that's what it's really all about. You know, that, that, there's not, nothing more uh, exciting about it than, than just looking at that. That's what you really have to do. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here, the DAX. I have never traded the DAX. My friend Tom Bugard trades it every day. I've watched it trade. It trades very similar to the S&P, but it doesn't have the volatility. Well, it has the volatility, but it doesn't have the liquidity that you have in the S&P and, well, the NASDAQ. But the NASDAQ is a totally different animal because it's basically seven stocks, and it can do uh, whatever, whatever it wants to do uh, for – for something, I have a, a little human interest story. A couple of months ago, one of my old clients, at Drexel Burnham, passed away. Stan, who, who ran a junkyard in uh, Los Angeles, he graduated out of Canoga Park High School, and we were the same age. And uh, he never had a college education, but he was a good mechanic, and he had a little, uh, a little uh, gas station uh, repair shop called Reds. Red's uh, repair shop, and he turned it into a truck stop, and then he turned the truck stop into a junkyard. And when he turned it into a junkyard, he became a multimillionaire because every time he would pull a car off of the uh, freeway, which the the uh, city of Los Angeles would pay him, uh, I think 150 to pull it off. Each car was worth five, six hundred, and sometimes thousands of dollars in parts. And of course, he had a huge junkyard. He sold at. Uh, Oh, 15 years ago and retired. Always loved trading bellies and later, later he traded the S&P. Well, Stan passed away and uh, I found out the other day that I was mentioned in his will. Uh, he had a, a, a classic car that I, I really loved and that was a 1940 Ford Coupe. And not a, not, an, not nothing famous or anything, but it was in perfect shape, running great and everything. And the family <laughs> wants to buy it, wanted, I, want, wanted to buy it back, uh, you know, because they wanted to keep it in the family. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, it's not for sale. I said, you just keep it for me. And I said, the next time I call you, I said, I'll ask you to bring it to me. Of course, I, it was a big joke. But uh, Stan... Uh, was so good to me all those years, uh, so, some wonderful uh, presents. We used to go overboard on presents and stuff like that. But, boy, he was, he was a lot of fun. He lived, uh, he lived to, gosh, he was five years old. He was, I think he was 88 when he finally passed away, 89, 89 when he passed away in great health and everything, and he was asleep. And so uh, that was several months ago, one of, one of the many that have joined the uh, funeral parade here at TFN. I, I don't bring this up to be modeling folks, but when you get to my age, I, I just can't believe how many of my friends have died. I talk to 20 but almost every day now just to make sure he's okay. And of course, Byron's in Africa doing a deal with uh, the Chinese on some type of minerals in Maui. Uh, or Maui, is that where it is? Mara, whatever, it's near Marrakesh. And uh, so I don't get to talk to him too much anymore. And okay, anyway, let's get back to the markets. Uh, I still believe that picture of Barron's means something, whether it does or not. 
I don't know, but it's saying that the bull markets. And when you see what's happening with this stock that came out to this uh, Cava, it, it sells uh, Caribbean food, folks, and it hasn't made any money. And yet it's coming out with an IPO. And uh, from what I understood from Bob Pisani today, there were 20 calls coming into the New York Stock Exchange, people wanting to get ready to do IPOs, because this is the first one. It was a test to see how well it was going to be, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, observed and so it's doing pretty good so hopefully you know, we'll see what happens right now the bull market's still in effect uh, we've seen new highs in the uh, recovery highs not new all-time highs but recovery highs in the nasdaq the s p and the dow jones the russell not quite so much because it's been lagging but the rest of them are doing extremely well and we'll have mike moore as our guest coming up when we uh, finish the uh, show here with i've got one more chart that I wanted to uh, share with you, and that is one that we were looking at. Oh, dear. It's the wrong. This is the right one. What am I talking about? This is the one. Yep, this is the one. Now, where are you? Oh, shut the front door. Here, it's right here. What am I talking about? I got it right here. This is the Canadian dollar, folks. We were saying how this was a, a triple bottom that was going to fail, and fail it has done because it just keeps going down, down, down. That probably means we're looking at a major A, B, C, D in the Canadian dollar. Whether it has anything to do with the fires and all the other stuff that they're having trouble with, up there, I that I don't know, but we've broken out all of these lows, closed below there, so there's no chance of that ever being a triple bottom. The only chance you had was last Thursday. Friday said goodbye, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday said more goodbye, so that's why we think it's going to go you know, a whole lot lower as we look at some of these things uh, here unfolding. If you have any questions, uh, Mike will be on pretty soon, but it's 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. And uh, programming note: We're going to have Norm Winsky uh, as our guest uh, tomorrow on Tuesday. Uh, we are going to have. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. 
And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have Mike Moore of More Analytics on the line. Mike, how are you doing today? Good. How about yourself? Uh, Living the dream on the green side of the grass, my friend. Listen, uh, would you be so kind enough to make sure that uh, when you start sharing the screen that they'll be able to see your charts? That's the one thing they really like to take a look yeah. at. And we can start out with the uh, oil complex and then move on to uh, some of the other things that you uh, share with us. So go right ahead. Okay. Let's start out. By the way, it was a great, yeah. great call on the crude oil, that bottom down there that you told us about last week. So... Uh, maybe give us some upside projections. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so crude right now, pull up this next chart. Uh, we held this. We came just shy of the stop here when we broke back above this line. So this is projected higher. We're just about to break above this upper line here. Uh, and that comes in at 69.81 minus three ticks per hour. I talked about that here in the analysis. Um, why, uh, Mike, why do you do three yeah. ticks per hour? What, what what function does that do? Well, since it's a, since it's a, a trend line, right? If this is a trend line right now, and, it, and it's 1 o'clock p.m., right? That trend line's coming in at 69.81. If I go over one hour here, it's going to come in at um, 69, um, 69.78. So if okay. you're getting along a certain amount above that line you got to adjust how where you have that long um order in and if you have a stop below the line you have to be adjusting that stop downward underneath the line uh -huh. otherwise your okay. stop will start drifting over towards the line okay does that make sense? sense yeah that's perfect yeah i've never yeah. seen that complex or that kind of idea but it's a great idea i like it well if you, if you kind of look at a, i'll give you just a visual example if you wanted to get long above this line, and um, let's say you make that line green, you would have a sliding order, sliding order wherever that is going down. And in some softwares like CQG, I believe you can you can put it in an order that actually has a bracket order around the move the uh, trend line, and, it, and it'll move down above it. Uh, with the trend line, so that makes a good idea okay. because it's forcing you to trade with the trend. This is a good idea. I like it. Exactly. So, in any case, I'd said in the analysis this morning that uh, this was bullish, and also if we broke, get long on a decent penetration above sixty nine ninety five minus three ticks per hour, uh, and uh, and or on a pullback thereafter and look for decent strength. So, your decent penetration is one thing. Decent strength is uh, is another animal. That's multiples of the decent strength. And I usually give that out in my morning analysis in the uh, with the emails I send out to my clients. But anyway, that's poised for higher trade. And I would also note that yesterday we had left a minor bullish reversal below, so that's also in place. You want me to take a look at the natural gas next? Or you want to take a look at the uh, unleaded uh, gas or the heating oil? Uh, let's do unleaded gas and heating oil, then we'll do natural gas uh, last. Okay. Or unleaded gas left a minor bullish reversal below uh, two days ago as well. We've been seeing strength from that. And uh, we have broken above this formation right here, which I said should bring in strength. And we popped up, chopped sideways, and we're seeing more of that as well. If we take up this upper formation here, which is going to come in at – 
271.34 plus 2.5 ticks per hour starting at one o'clock. And then that'll project this upward probably at least 17 cents plus. And if you break above there decently and back down through it decently, I look for decent pressure. We also have a, a good formation down below coming in at 270, uh, 250.17 this morning. That's going to come in at 250.36 as of 1 o'clock. And a decent break below there, I said, would project this down with $0.09 cents minimum, $0.27 cents plus maximum. But your minimum now is going to be more like $0.13. Cents. Um, okay. Okay. And the heating oil... That also left a minor bullish reversal below two days ago. We've seen some of the strength from that. And uh, since we broke back above this line, I'd said this morning to get long above there. Said, so again, it's approaching a, a stop above 237.91. Get long on a decent penetration above. So the sell against there didn't work, but getting long above it did. And now we're popping up. Now we've broken above this more significant formation up there which has sizable projections to the upside. And that comes in at, um, that was this one here, 243.94 plus 0.5 a tick per hour, which I said would bring in, we'll project this upward 13.5 cents minimum. The only thing that this has really got to clear is it's got some of these possible exhaustion areas on the way up that's got to contend with. It's trading right in this exhaustion area right now at, uh, 247.70 to 250.06. But this is a pretty substantial formation. This is chopped sideways for quite a bit. So, you know, this is ready to run. If it's going to run, if it fails back down through this uh, line, I'd be out of all longs. I would be short and be looking for it to get this to get crushed right back down into these areas. Do you want to look at the Brent and the gas oil, or would you like to look at spreads? Let's look at Brent, because we have, I have not seen a Brent uh, chart. Uh, I don't know if it still looks like the WTI, but let's take – is that Brent? Uh, oh, go yeah, right it's almost, almost exactly like WTI. It's just got a spread in between it. Uh, left the minor bullish reversal below in there two days ago. Um, this is approaching a formation up above that comes in at 76.43. Minus one tick per hour, and a decent break above there will project this upward another five dollars and fifty cents. And then we have a formation below. This is a very significant formation down here, seventy-one eighty-five to seventy-nine. Uh, a decent break below there is going to project this downward uh, at least three dollars and fifty cents minimum, seven dollars plus maximum. But it's also a, a long-term formation as well. So definitely be paying attention to that if this rolls over. In other words, this is going to be a major pivotal area that will probably dictate where the market goes from there for days slash weeks. Wow. <clears throat> Likewise, if we break above this line and fail back down through, that that would be an excellent shorting opportunity. Then I'd be short looking for it to dump back down into here, add your shorts below here, and it can really come off. But outside of that right now, we're bullish looking for a break above here. Yeah. And then I the gas oil. We were, on, we, were, we were making that double bottom when you were on the show a couple a week or so ago, and that was uh, certainly a best place to buy it. It was right on the money, and that's been a heck of a move so far. Oh, uh, when we were over in here, yeah, uh, no, the one on the, no, yeah, that one, and then also the one on the right too was a uh, yeah, this one right here. Yeah, that one's a okay. real nice one. So the uh, gas oil here also left a minor bullish reversal below two days ago. Um, it had broken above this for, uh, this formation we talked about last time, popped above here, which just said you're bringing strength, broke above this, which just said you're bringing strength, and then we chopped around here, saw some pressure from a break below here, so put that strength on hold, and then that was taken off hold when we broke above here. we got to pay a few bills, Mike. Stay with us, and we'll be right back, okay? We'll be back with Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. Stay tuned.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Mike Moore, more analytics. And uh, if we could move on to uh, the next one, I believe would be natural gas, Mike. Natural gas uh, had a nice pop in there today. We had left a gap open higher here the other day, held exhaustion down below. And then I'd said to get long above this line right in here, and we've seen a nice pop right up through here and along above this line. So that is... Yeah. Pull that up over in here. How high did the natural gas get today? I saw it at four. Uh, Two fifty six eighty. Two fifty six. Wow, that's up a lot. Yep. Um. So yeah, and this is also leaving a moderate term bullish reversal below today, so that could propel this higher for days slash weeks. Um, and you know that I've been looking for a more macro correction to the whole move down. This could be one of them, but. We've been wrong before, but we held exhaustion here, had a nice bounce, held exhaustion again here, held a bounce, and held exhaustion here again as well. So we'll have to see uh, if this builds up a base here and starts to go, but that's a pretty strong day right there. I suggest we're going to see strength for the next couple of days probably. Very good. Well, you want to look at some of the spreads, or you want to go to the s Yes, I'd like, I'd like to see a couple of those spreads. The ones that are most popular is what the folks here are interested in. Okay. Well, the DSD spread is the crude oil. This is basically a spread of the whole curve out in the futures markets in the, the crude. And this is often a harbinger of what you'll see in the outright. Not always, but um, 
we've uh, we had broken below a formation up here, which got us bearish, and this one which got us bearish. We came down here, and we've held this major formation here a number of times. If if this rolls over and takes us back out on the downside, that we should see some pressure for days slash weeks. Likewise, that would be a good fade. And uh, right now, we're just getting above this uh, natural resistance right in here, so that might open up the upside a little bit. And then we have a significant formation above as well. That comes in around uh, 408, and decent break above there. Project this up for at least 135 ticks. We have a question from one of our listeners, yep. uh, and the question is, uh, what percentage of your trades are spread trades in the, in the, in the energy complex? Well, it depends on what time of year it is and what the, what the spreads are doing. There's sometimes um, – there's certain times where there's very significant opportunities in there. A good example would be um, the Arabob front month spread just the other day. I mean this – just exploded here, this kind of volatility to see in just a short amount of time and having a lot of contracts on can really make a big difference. Um, I mean, as you can see, for example, to give you some perspective, um, this this movement right here over these these number of days is about the, the volatility of the, of the entire market yeah. or of that entire spread for eight months ahead of time. So being wow. poised, and we happen to get long right above this line right here. So okay. providing an enormous opportunity on the upside. And then it also has opportunities when it swings back to the downside. So I hope that answers your question. But yes, it does. Yeah, that's fine. It, just to give you an idea on the analysis um, for people looking at the analysis, this looks like a lot of wording, okay? But when you're using the analysis, you're not even using most of this. So if you were to look at crude oil and you get down to here, it says these all roll into the October contract and this is off hold. But when this is on hold, you don't need to read any of this. This is just this is just a place setter here for all these sentences above it. And the same thing with all these sentences down below to this. Those are all on hold, so you don't need to read any of those. And then you're really just working with the shorter term, the uh, closer formations here, and maybe one line here and one line there. So it looks like a lot of stuff to digest, but it's not. And you have six outright markets. And then this is what's called a quick trade sheet. And this takes everything from the column, like, like let's say here in the gas oil, and I put that right here, and it shows all your trading signals right next to um, the levels. And the reason why I have this um, on here, it says quick trade sheet, is traders in the pits usually used to literally cut these four columns off of here. And tape it to the back of their <laughs> tape it to the back of their trading pads, and literally climb down into the natural gas pit, or the crude pit, or the you know natural gas and crude options. And the way that this is helpful, though, is when you're looking at these different resistance levels. When you're hitting a bunch of resistance levels at the same time, let's say you're hitting them in the R bomb, you're hitting them in heat and crude at the same time. That gives you more confidence to sell at a certain level if they're all sort of hitting at the same times. And also, this is something that's helpful because you can just highlight certain trades that are important to you, um, and that way it's just a quick reference. And then when you go down to the spreads, I'm trying to answer your question in a roundabout way here. There's a, a thing here that talks about seasonal trends, and then below here there's spreads. So there's five spreads. You have the crude oil front month spread, the RBOB front month spread, the RBOB to heat spread, and then you have the two cracks. So there's there's five spreads to do trades in here, and there's six outrights uh, to do trades in there. Does that make wow. sense? It sure does. Boy, you do a lot of work. Oh, my goodness. That's a big uh, advantage, though, when you can see how those spreads work because that's where the commercials are doing their business. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, I have – I just have two goals for my clients. Number one is to save them time analyzing. And number two is to drive new revenue streams because time is the greatest commodity. And if you get to save some time, spend it with your family and your loved ones, and make money as well, that's a winning deal for everybody all around. So I've had some clients that have been with me for 25 years. I've literally watched it. Well, yeah, I, I, I know that feeling. That's for sure. <laughs> that's um, good. You can, can you give us what you're looking at in the gold market. Okay. Uh 
So gold right here rolled back over, and this is a very important day. Um, let me just pull this up. Sorry, I got it right here. There we go. So again, that main picture that I keep hammering away at is the break above 2062.90, worn a solid pressure for days slash weeks. We had seen 131.9 of that, but then we got some more of that today. Uh, when we came down into here, we'd broken down below a bearish formation right in here, and we rolled over. Now, I did say this morning that, give me a second here, trade below 1962.70 plus 0.5 a tick per hour now projects us lower. So this is either now in a new lower time frame bearish structure, or this may be another, quote, final stretch of the move down from the high. I think okay. it's likely the first scenario. And I said that uh, in a decent break back above 1963.10, we'll confirm that or suggest um, the later of the two. And then I said that to look for possible exhaustion, see this right here, in 1942.70 to 1941.70. So we held that top part originally, and then we came down to hold this lower one at one. Uh, 193.58. I didn't have a buy signal against that one, though. Okay. But hey, listen. It's a, what's that? We're going to have you on again next week. So uh, take Monday off, and we'll probably see you next Friday. How does that? Sounds good, buddy. Are we all done for you today, bet. or you want me to come back out after your... Uh, yeah, come back after the break. Please do. 877-927-6648. Okay. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Mike, we've got a question from one of our uh, listeners, and that is, if you had to pick one trade to get ready for in the next day or two, are you watching anything really special right now? Um, I mean, that natural gas today was a very important trade because that's leaving a medium-term bullish reversal below. That okay. medium-term bullish reversal suggests this is going to rally for days. Uh, so being long above this line right here was key. I mean, that's kind of late talking about it, but that was one I've been watching. Um, okay. And I think that the energies are, are really poised to, to rally out of here. So I think that the rest of the energy complex is a good play to the upside. Okay. Um, and now gold also right here is right at a very pivotal point. So this line right here, this is just shy of a decent penetration above it. If we get that decent penetration above it, this should rally for days. It might be a choppy rally, but it would rally nonetheless. Otherwise, this is a great short right here with a very tight risk. And this thing's probably, in, and then we can see it roll over. So it's just that right at that knife point right in there. And a decent penetration in there today is uh, 9.1. Let me just double check that real quick for you. That's actually going to be a little bit wider. 23.3. Give me one second. I'll tell you what, it's 23.3. Um, We're going to have to yeah, so that, that penetration would be $10 at this point. It's volatility is blown out a bit. Okay. Do you want to take a look at the S&P or the... Um, no, we're out, we're out of time, my friend. That's it. Okay. So we'll see you next Friday. Okay, buddy? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We appreciate you. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. We'll see him again soon. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Yeah.